Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuveer. In this class, we will discuss about uh, function parameters and its types. In our previous classes, we discussed about how to define a function, how to call a function. And in our previous classes, we already discussed about mutable objects, see different data types. We use the concepts which we already discussed in our previous classes. So please follow our playlist from the beginning so that you will have a better understanding of the complete Python language. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, before going into the concept of different types of parameters, first we have to understand what happens internally when we call a function. This understanding will help you a lot when you are writing the programs. This level of understanding will help you a lot in writing the programs. First we will take an example and understand the concept, then we will go into different types of parameters. Let's take an example. In this example, See here, we have defined a function and this discussion is clearly made in our previous classes. f of x, f is the function name and x is the input parameter. So input parameter and this is the body of the function. This is the body of the function. This is the complete definition of the function. After that we have defined a is equal to 1. Print id of a, f of a. This, what this mean is we are calling a function. So what happens here internally that's very important to understand. So a is equal to 1 when in our first class we discussed about variables, memory allocation and interning, how memory is allocated to objects, different data types, all these concepts were discussed in our previous class. So based on that 1 is an integer data type. So integer object, 1 is an integer object. What happens here is one object, integer object has been created and it is saved in a memory location. So now A is referencing to that memory location, A is referencing to the memory location 50, assume that it is given a memory location 50, now A is referencing to the memory location 50. So when you display print id of i means it will display this memory location 50 value will be displayed. So when you call the function f of a so this reference value is sent to the function. So f is this when you call this function the reference value means a is referencing to the value what is the memory location it is referencing that reference is sent to the function. Now x is also referencing to the same memory location. Why? Why? Because a is sent to this function. It is saved in this variable. x variable is also referencing to the same memory location. This point is very very important to understand. In Python when we call a function always references will be sent reference value will be sent. So now x is also pointing to the same memory location 50. Print x means it will display the object that is present in this memory location that is 1. Print id of x means it will display the same value 50. x is also pointing to the same memory location. a is also pointing to the same memory location. Both will display the id of a means id of x means both are showing the same memory location that is what the output here is. Next coming to we will take one more example and understand because uh, the concept of mutable objects immutable objects apply here. We discussed about mutable and immutable objects. We will check different conditions on uh, different situations where how mutable and immutable objects behave when we are calling a function. So let us take an example definition means we are defining a function f1 of x and in this we are having x dot append of we are appending a list to the x variable print x so uh, this is the body of the function now we define the list a is equal to 5 comma 6 so list is a mutable object what is the meaning of mutable object we can modify that object so without changing its memory location mutable means in the same memory location we can modify that object that is what mutable object means f1 of a so what happens here we are sending the reference of this list so list is created like this how memory is allocated to list based on the assumption you already know how memory is allocated to the list that is discussed previously so a is referencing to the list consider only this red color block 
in this list is pointing to 5 and 6 values this reference value is sent to the function now x is also referencing to the same memory location same list which is a is referencing so now x and a are both are referencing to same x dot append of we can modify this this is a mutable object so x dot append of means we are appending a new value to this object means this black color is, is our new list we are appending to that in that we are having values 1 and 2 so 1 and 2 list within a list we are appending both are pointing to the same list reference print x what it will display after modifying it it will display 5612 list within a list the same reference after calling this function the the list has been modified by this function and a is also pointing to the same list so it will also display 5612 this is very important to understand both are pointing to same reference so if this function modified it is affecting here also a is also pointing to the same reference position let's check this on our python so that you will have a better understanding so function parameters this is our first example we are calling a function variable so i am not explaining it again a is called both are pointing to the same memory location now, now let's check the next example see here we have created a list so after calling the function this function is modifying this list it is appending a new list list within the list and x is also pointing we have displayed the x memory location x memory location is saying 2732 the same memory location has been shown here 2732 so a and x are both pointing to the same uh, list so both are displaying the same values 5612 5612 so that is what we have to understand now we will take one more example on immutable objects how it will behave the immutable objects are so a is equal to 1 1 is an integer object integer is an uh, immutable object means we cannot modify the object once it is declared we cannot modify it f2 of a means we are calling we are sending this reference to function f2 and x is also pointing to same memory location a is also pointing to same memory location so what we have discussed in a immutable objects when we try to modify the object it won't modify it will create a new object so x is equal to x plus 1 it will create a new object and new object is 2 this memory location this reference value is assigned to x and now x is pointing to 60 a is pointing to 50 that is what we have to understand a is pointing to 50 so print id of a print a now a and x pointing to different locations so we will check this example and we will continue with the different types of parameters so the example here is let's take this example so x is a a is an integer objects both are pointing to different memory locations this is what we have to observe now coming to different types of parameters first we have to understand required arguments means so f of x comma y f is a function that is that consists of two input parameters when we are calling this function we have to send two arguments so parameters arguments are interchangeably used so when we are calling a function we have to send two arguments and these arguments references are saved in this variables x and y how they will be saved from left to right a's reference is assigned to x b's reference is assigned to y now x is pointing to a's x and a are both pointing to same object b and y are pointing to same object that is what we have to understand z is equal to x plus y so x plus y values have been 1 plus 2 so print of z means it will display the 3 value next coming to keyword arguments uh, here by default in our previous example left to right a is assigned with x b is assigned to y if you don't want to do that uh, if you want to mention the names then we call it as keyword arguments uh, let's take an example then we will understand better uh, x comma y is the same example 
so without uh, by default we can send it as b comma a instead of that we can mention the variable name input parameter name y is equal to b means uh, b is assigned to y here we don't need to follow the order that is important uh, if you, you if you are using keyword parameters we don't need to follow the order in which uh, so we are mentioning clearly so b has to be assigned to y memory location y y variable it's not memory location y variable a has to be a's reference has to be assigned to x variable that is what uh, keyword arguments means next one is default arguments uh, default arguments means uh, f of by default we have defined y is equal to 5 so if you don't send the reference to this value y it will by default take it as a value 5 so let's call, when we are calling this function f of we are sending only one value if you don't send the second value it will by default take it as a 5 so x comma 5 z is equal to x plus y means x is given as object 1 uh, integer object 1 x is referencing to integer object 1 1 plus 5 means 6 the 6 value will be displayed next one is variable length arguments variable length arguments means if you don't know how many arguments you have to pass then we can define it as a variable length arguments let's take an example x comma star y whenever we define it as star y it is considered as a variable length parameter x will take one reference y will take any number of arguments any number of arguments means it won't take in it can take zero arguments it can take any number of arguments we will understand with an example in this example in this function we, we are displaying print x value so this variable length arguments are saved in a tuple format uh, in a tuple data type uh, we discussed about tuple data type uh, if you iterate in the tuple we will get all the values and all the values can be displayed using iteration that's why we have written for i in y y is a tuple type uh, so uh, it will take one values one by one and it will be displayed so here what we have done here is a f of 1 we called with only one parameter this will be default assigned to, this will be assigned to x and y will take zero arguments empty tuple y will take zero arguments empty tuple now we have called with five arguments one will be assigned to x 2, 5, 6, 7 is assigned to y it will be saved in a tuple data type so if you want to display for i and y it will take one by one and it will be displayed so one for the first function the output is one for the second function the output is one two five six seven this is called variable length arguments and next one is return statement if a function want to send back a value then we will use a return statement so what let's take an example and understand what's return statement is it will return a value def, defining a function f of x comma y is equal to 5 z is equal to x plus y print id of z we are displaying the z object we are displaying the memory location of z and it is returning z returning z means it will just return the reference of the z everything is reference don't forget that in python everything is a reference when we re, when we return the z z memory location is reference that reference value will be sent to sent to the calling value calling fun, call, when wherever it called the function will return that reference value so let's check the an example a is equal to 1 so f of a we are calling this function this one a's reference is sent to x y will have default 5 so 5 plus 1 is equal to 6 6 is save, 6 is an integer object it will be given a reference and that reference is saved in a variable z so z is sent back that sent reference value is taken by k that is why this function is returning a value that reference has to be saved somewhere for that reason we have defined k is equal to the reference value which we get from the function will be saved in k variable now k is referencing to the same z reference so let's check that print k print id of k see here z and k are both referencing to the same memory location that is what important to understand this is all about parameters and return statement hope you understand the concept if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below 
Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.